In this program, we're going to learn about the lunar cycle. What is the lunar cycle? The lunar cycle refers to the 29.5 days it takes the moon to go through its eight different phases. What is a phase of the moon? The phase of the moon is how much of the moon appears to us on Earth to be lit up by the sun. The moon itself doesn't emit any light like the sun. The moon is only visible to us because it reflects the light of the sun like a mirror. As the moon circles the Earth every 29.5 days, we see the bright parts of the moon's surface at different angles. These are called phases of the moon, and they appear to us as different shapes. The phases of the moon are produced by the moon's orbit around the Earth. There are eight phases of the moon caused by the moon's orbit around the Earth and its position in relation to the sun. Think of them like traveling around the dial of a clock. It doesn't matter where you start on the dial. But we are going to start at noon with the first phase called the new moon. The new moon is when we can't see any portion of the sun's light reflected on the moon. The moon is dark to us. This occurs when the moon is between the sun and the earth in its orbit. As the new moon begins its orbit, we start to see more and more of the moon on its way to being a full moon. This is called waxing. Waxing means increasing or growing larger. The next phase of the moon on its orbit is called waxing crescent. We begin to see just a sliver of the moon and it is growing larger or waxing as the moon continues on its journey around the Earth. The next phase is called the first quarter. The first quarter moon happens when the moon has completed one quarter of its orbit around the Earth and appears to us to be half full. The next phase is called waxing gibbous. A gibbous moon is a very bright moon. Waxing indicates that it is still growing larger on its way to a full moon. Gibbous comes from a root word meaning humpback. The moon is almost full and looks like it has a humpback. The next phase is called full moon. This happens when the Earth is between the sun and the moon. We can see the whole moon. From this point forward, the moon gets visibly smaller to us until it returns to the new moon. This is called waning. Waning means growing smaller. The next phase is called waning gibbous. This looks just like the waxing gibbous phase, except the moon is now on its way to getting smaller. After waning gibbous, the moon reaches the last quarter phase. This happens when the moon is three quarters of its way around the Earth and the moon appears to us as half. The last quarter looks like the first quarter, except it's waning or getting smaller. The next phase is called waning crescent. Again, this phase looks very much like waxing crescent, except it's getting smaller to us on Earth. And finally, we return to the new moon. At this point, we can no longer see the moon because it is between the Earth and the Sun again. To review, when describing the phases of the Moon, you only need to know two things. What shape is it? New, crescent, quarter, gibbous, or full. 
and whether it's getting bigger, waxing, or smaller, waning. Now that you better understand the different cycles of the moon, think about this. In what cycle does the moon reflect the most light on the Earth? In what cycle does it reflect the least?